Hello, I'm Feathered Gaming, and welcome to episode 1 of my How to Install series for Minecraft. So, to start us off, we're going to have to install either WinRAR or 7-Zip to our computer. So basically, what these programs do is allow us to open up the files we require to install mods to Minecraft. Therefore, I'll be supplying the links for these two programs in the description below, and you can choose what program you think you like the look of the most. But my preference is WinRAR, so that's what I'll be using in this tutorial. Okay, so after you have installed WinRAR or 7-Zip to your computer, we then have to download two files to our desktop. The first file is Minecraft Forge Universal, so click on the third link in the description and it'll take you to the download page. We then have to find the correct download button, because as we all know, there can be multiple download buttons for all different things. Okay, so here it is, just left click and it'll take you to an AdFly page. We then have to wait for it to count down 5 seconds. Once it's counted down 5 seconds, click skip add and Minecraft Forge will start downloading. Once it's done, drag it out of your downloads and onto your desktop. Then click on the fourth link in the description and it'll take you to the download page for the Tornadoes mod. Wait until it counts down 5 seconds and click on this download button and once again it'll take us to an AdFly page. Once it's counted down 5 seconds, click skip add and drag it out of your downloads and onto your desktop. We then have to go to the start menu and in the search bar type percent app data percent. But if you don't have a search bar in your start menu, there'd be a tab labeled run. Click on it and a search bar will pop up there. And type percent, app, data percent and hit enter. You will then see quite a few folders and files. Click on the folder named .minecraft. Then on the one called bin. In the bin folder, you'll see a file called minecraft.jar. Right click on minecraft.jar and go open with WinRAR or 7-zip depending on what one you installed. Now, in minecraft.jar, you'll see stacks of folders and files. We're going to have to delete the folder labeled beta inf. Otherwise, when we try and mod our Minecraft client, it won't work and will crash. Okay, so after we have deleted the beta inf folder, we're going to minimize minecraft.jar and open up Minecraft Forge Universal. Now, in our Minecraft Forge file, we're going to see another beta inf folder and we're going to have to delete it as well. Once you have deleted beta inf, Open back up Minecraft.jar and copy all the files in Minecraft Forge into Minecraft.jar. You can do this by highlighting the files and dragging them across. We then have to close down everything and search percent app data percent again and go into dot Minecraft. Once you're in the dot Minecraft folder, open up the Tornadoes mod file we downloaded earlier. Then open up the folder name put contents in. In here, you'll see another folder named mods. Drag the mods folder into .minecraft. Once you've done that, you have just installed the Tornadoes mod, but for some reason, if it doesn't work, inbox me on Facebook, Twitter or YouTube and I'll explain to you what you've done wrong, because this mod is very easy to install incorrectly. Also, if you'd like to see a spotlight on this video, click the annotation in the bottom left hand corner of the screen. Okay, so if this video helped you at all or you enjoyed it, could you please give it a thumbs up? Also subscribe because it would really help. And one other thing, if you'd like to know when I'm giving out things like Minecraft accounts or guest passes to games like World of Warcraft or Starcraft, uploading videos or just doing other things, follow me on Facebook or Twitter. The links for those two things are in the description below. Once again, I'm Feathered Gaming. Goodbye.